The tracheobronchial tree is a critical component of the human respiratory system, serving as the primary passageway for air to enter and exit the lungs, which is the topic of today's video. So keep watching to learn more about its structure and function within the respiratory system. The tracheobronchial tree begins with the trachea, commonly known as the windpipe, which is a tube approximately 10 to 12 centimeters in length and 2.5 centimeters in diameter in adults. The trachea extends from the larynx located in the neck down into the thoracic cavity, where it bifurcates into the left and right main bronchi at a structure called the carina. The trachea is reinforced by C-shaped cartilaginous rings that provide structural support, preventing it from collapsing while maintaining flexibility. The posterior part of the trachea is composed of smooth muscle and connective tissue, which allows for slight expansion and contraction during breathing and swallowing. Once the trachea divides at the carina, it forms the right and left main bronchi, each entering their respective lungs at the hilum. The right main bronchus is shorter, wider, and more vertical than the left, making it more prone to foreign body aspiration. Inside the lungs, each main bronchus is subdivided into lobar bronchi, three in the right lung, the upper, middle, and lower, and two in the left lung, the upper, and lower. These lobar bronchi further branch into segmental bronchi which correspond to the bronchopulmonary segments of the lungs, each supplied by its own bronchus and blood vessels. The segmental bronchi continue to divide into smaller bronchioles, which are less than one millimeter in diameter and lack cartilaginous support. Instead, they are composed of smooth muscle, which allows for the regulation of airway resistance and airflow through bronchoconstriction and bronchodilation. The bronchioles further divide into terminal bronchioles, which mark the end of the conducting zone of the respiratory system. These terminal bronchioles then transition into respiratory bronchioles, which is the beginning of the respiratory zone where gas exchange occurs. The respiratory bronchioles lead to alveolar ducts, which open into clusters of alveoli. Alveoli are tiny balloon-like structures surrounded by a network of capillaries. It is within the alveoli that the critical exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. The alveolar walls are extremely thin, allowing for efficient diffusion of gases between the air in the alveoli and the blood in the capillaries. The tracheobronchial tree structure is highly specialized to fulfill its functions of air conduction, filtration, and humidification. The ciliated epithelium lining the trachea and bronchi, along with mucus-producing goblet cells, plays a vital role in trapping and clearing inhaled particles and pathogens. This mucosillary clearance mechanism is essential for maintaining respiratory health and preventing infections. But, as you can see, the tracheobronchial tree is a complex branching system that ensures efficient air delivery to the lungs and facilitates gas exchange. Its hierarchical structure from the trachea to the alveoli highlights the intricate design necessary for effective respiration emphasizing the importance of each component in maintaining overall respiratory function. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.